Hello everyone, welcome back to MLS Moves. Please make sure you like this video down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. The LA Galaxy, synonymous with success in the MLS realm, has experienced a roller coaster journey since its inception. Once considered the gold standard of Major League Soccer, the club's trajectory has witnessed an inconsistency with lots of highs and lows. The Galaxy hold the prestigious accolade of being the first MLS club to clinch five MLS Cups, showcasing their dominance in the league's early years. However, the sands of time have shifted and the club has struggled to reach the pinnacle of American soccer since their last MLS Cup appearance in 2014. This video takes a deep dive into the LA Galaxy's storied history, analyzing the factors that contributed to their rise, their sustained period of dominance, and the subsequent fall from grace. The LA Galaxy's success story is intertwined with their ability to attract marquee players and legendary figures of the game. Names like David Beckham, Landon Donovan, and Robbie Keane are etched in the books of MLS history, largely due to their great success and performances in the LA Galaxy jersey. These players were not just figureheads. They were pivotal in driving the team to success, instilling a winning mentality within the squad, and captivating audiences across the nation. Robbie Keane in particular stands out as a defining figure of the 2010s for the Galaxy. His goal-scoring prowess, leadership, and relentless drive played a crucial role in the team's success during this period. However, as with all good things, this era of dominance was not destined to last forever. Departures and shifts in strategy, as the curtain closed on the Galaxy's golden era, the club faced a daunting task, replacing irreplaceable legends. Robbie Keane's decline and eventual retirement in 2016 left a void that was felt both on and off the pitch. Giovanni Dos Santos was brought in with high expectations, tasked with continuing the legacy left by Landon Donovan and Robbie Keane. However, the Mexican international's tenure with the Galaxy was filled with inconsistency and unfilled potential. The departure of Bruce Arena and late 2016 was another significant blow to the club. While regarded as one of the greatest coaches in MLS history, Arena's exit signaled the end of an era. Pete Vianna stepped in as general manager and Kern Alfo took the reins as head coach, marking a new chapter in the Galaxy's storied history. This period was characterized by a shift in transfer policy, with the club opting for a more conservative approach, focusing more on players from the academy and signing lesser-known players like Giao Pedro and Roman Alessandrini. The transition was anything but smooth. The Galaxy's new-look squad struggled to gel and injuries exposed the fragility of the roster. The team's performance with veteran midfielder Jermaine Jones failing to provide stability and Giovanni Dos Santos struggling to live up to the designated player status. The result was a disastrous campaign culminating in Anolfo's dismissal and the return of former head coach Ziggy Schmidt. Under Schmidt, the Galaxy's fortunes failed to change. The team finished the season rooted at the bottom of the standings, missing out on the postseason for only the fourth time in their history and earning the dubious distinction of claiming their first wooden spoon. In March 2018, the Galaxy made headlines by signing the Swedish superstar Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The charismatic forward brought with him a wealth of experience and a passion to win on and off the pitch. His debut marked by a stunning long-range goal and late winner in the inaugural El Trafico derby against LAFC is etched in MLS history. Ibrahimovic's presence galvanized LA Galaxy and for a moment it seemed like the club might be on the cusp of a renaissance. However, the defensive frailties and a lack of consistency plagued the team and despite Ibrahimovic's individual brilliance, the Galaxy once again missed out on postseason action. The 2019 season saw further changes, with Guillermo Barro Scalotto appointed as the head coach and a slew of new signings arriving at the club. The Galaxy returned to the playoffs, but their journey was cut short by arch rivals LAFC in a thrilling encounter. Ibrahimovic's departure at the end of the season marked the end of an era, and once again, the Galaxy were left searching for answers. The signing of Chicharito Hernandez in January of 2020 was seen as a statement of intent, but the Mexican striker's first season in MLS was marked by injury and inconsistency. Guillermo Barros-Colotto was relieved of his duties and Greg Vanny was brought in to steady the ship. The Galaxy's woes were compounded in December 2022 when MLS sanctioned the club for irregularities related to the 2019 signing of Christian Pavon. The club was stripped of $1 million in allocation money and club president Chris Klein was suspended and now former Galaxy general manager Dennis DeClosa cannot work in MLS unless he applies to the MLS commissioner to, for reinstatement in the future. Under Vanny, the Galaxy showed sign of improvement, with Chicharito rediscovering from his goal-scoring touch and the team making strides on the pitch. However, the specter of past mismanagements loomed large, and the Galaxy's start to the 2023 season was nothing short of disastrous. The club languished at the bottom of the standings, winless in their first seven matches, and facing an uphill battle to restore their status as MLS heavyweights. Chris Klein's departure in May of 2023 marked the end of a turbulent period of the Galaxy, and the club's supporters breathed a collective sigh 
sigh of relief. The task ahead is monumental, but the Galaxy's storied history serves as a reminder of the heights the club can reach. Greg Vanny and the Galaxy failed to make the playoffs though in 2023, causing most fans to want to let him go and move in a different direction to hopefully get back to its winning ways. The Galaxy's journey through the MLS record book is a tale of triumph, transition, and turbulence. From the dizzying heights of five MLS Cups to the lows of wooden spoons and league sanctions, the Galaxy's story is a microcosm of the unpredictability of soccer in North America. The club now stands at a crossroads. With the departure of Chris Klein signaling new beginning, the club will have two DP spots open this upcoming offseason and also some financial flexibility to work with. The road to redemption is filled with challenges, but the Galaxy story past is a testament to the club's resilience and ability to bounce back. The next chapter of the Galaxy's history is yet to be written, and with the recent success of Crosstown rival LAFC, the soccer world will be watching very closely to see if the most successful club in MLS history can rise from the ashes and reclaim its place at the top of MLS. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video. Comment down below. Do you think the LA Galaxy can return to their prominence and lift the MLS Cup trophy once again? Or will LAFC prevent that from happening? Is this LAFC's town now? And until next time, I will see you all soon.